Hi everybody, um, it's Debbie, uh, my first blog post, I'm just doing my What the Husband Bought Me post, yes, which can be quite, hmm, anyway, he said to me that he bought me two things on Amazon over Christmas, because he felt he didn't really buy me enough, and I said that's fine, not into present things, not our thing, but anyway, so he's bought me two sets of hooks, which is fine, Barney, shush now. That's Barney the sausage dog, by the way. You'll meet him later. And, um, yeah. <sighs> what can I say, ladies? Bright pink. I don't do pink. I don't do pink at all. I do... Well, I've got one handbag with a little tiny bit of pink on, but it's mainly black and grey. Right. Um, yeah. Very, very pink. And... Oh, well, anyway, um, bless his little heart. Tell me they were going to be bamboo hooks, wooden ones, he said he bought me, wooden ones. I said, oh, bamboo ones, fine. Didn't really want them because I'd researched into them and I was a bit concerned about splinters in the fingers and things like that. But anyway, so, um, this is a Not bamboo, as you can see. I'll put that way up for you, sorry. There you go, set of metal hooks. Going down, and these ones on this side, these metal, metal ones, the silver metal ones, are ridiculously small. They start at 0 0.60. 0 0.60! That, that's tiny. I can't think what that is. Up to 1.90. And then, the colourful hooks go from a jazzy red little number in a 2.0 which I do like because they're embossed I've said, oh it's a bit bendable it's yeah a bit bendy on that one but that is a very thin one I suppose 2.0 up to oh a lovely big chunky purple one that's what we like to see 6.5 I do you do use the 6 hook quite a lot because um, I tend to double up double knitting especially with the recent blankets I've done with people oh and tell you what could be okay. It's got a nice little um, bag of bits, extra bits. Let's just see what's in here. Let's just, oh, it took a bit to do to tighten up. Oh, there's quite a few bits. Oh, bit, bits and pieces everywhere. Fine. Uh, we have a ruler, and a um, needle gauge, hook gauge, and. Um, I have no idea what this little pink. What that little pink? Th it's like a cone. Yeah, no idea on that. Um, oh, it's two of them. Two of them. Don't know what they are. Um, measuring tape, always useful. Like to don't mind measuring. It. Oh, plastic downers. We'll need us. These are great, but I do tend to ruin them very quickly after because I pull through. And it breaks the top. But at least I'm not paying from this time, so that's fine. Stitch counters, the good old fashioned stitch row counter rather, not stitch counter, row counters. Always like them. Couple of um oh these are fancy. Actually, I quite like these. These are stitch holders. Um they don't feel they don't feel plastic, eh? But they don't they're, oh, they're a good strength. Oh, nice colours, blue and gold, like that. Um, oh, markers. Oh, they're dreadful. <laughs> oh, I think they're stitch markers. I don't know what the rings are for. So I'm not sure. I think they could be stitch markers, but I'm not totally sure. Um, oh, no, no, no. These are stitch markers. Oh, these are good. These are what you normally pay for. These are fine. They're really nice. Uh, again, another mystery object. Although it has got what looks like safety pins in them. But in a weird shape. Um, and I presume... Oh. I think you just drop a couple of stitches onto them while you're working. But I'm not totally sure again. What would appear to be some sort of a thimble, but it feels like it's oh, not nice metal, that's cheap. Um, pins with big heads. Oh, metal, metal darners. 
That's good. Look, look at that eye. That is a superb eye. And it's nice and chunky. It's not not really bending. So that's brilliant. I've I've got um I've actually just bought three different types of wool darners or wool needles. Um and that'll be done in a separate video because I wanted to see what the different types were like. And one is a very weird combination. I presume that's some sort of needle case. <laughs> it's Hmm. There is no description with it, so I'll have to go back on Amazon and see. <laughs> oh goodness me! How do you flick it open there? I wonder. I could break this quite easily because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know what it is. Oh, found out. It's oh, it's snippers. Snippers. You can never have too many pairs of snippers i normally use um scissors oh they're very <laughs> very blunt i can do that with no fear of impaling myself yeah so oh crikey they're difficult to get in there goodness me anyway um so thank you hobo um i'll get back to you on another time and we'll test them okay bye for now